Hello and welcome to the stream. Welcome to the Sketching Greyhound. Alap, welcome. Thank you very much for joining this early on. How are you today? We are drawing, that is not a surprise probably, if you have read the title. We are continuing with Agent Carter. That might be a surprise because normally I draw one picture per stream and then complete it uh, afterwards. Uh, offline and then put out the timeless video for the complete thing. Uh, I decided to do not for this because we have so much to do still. I was so slow with Agent Carter that I thought why not? Let's just continue doing this in a second stream. Normally I should release a video tomorrow and I hope that we will get this to a point that I can release the video tomorrow. <sighs> Time pressure, always a good thing. So let's get into it. Uh, let's change to the drawing. Oh, I have still from the Buffy Club the template there. Let me quickly change that template to the right one so you can see what we are actually drawing. I thought because I do this, oh, there it is. I thought because I am oh, perfect, it's sized the right way. Uh, I thought that because I was uh, drawing this for the second time, everything would be have been set up. I forgot that I had the Buffy Club stream in between. So, Artop, have I waited so long for starting the stream that you have run away? I'm sorry. <laughs> I was still setting up. Okay, so um, let's just start. We have been drawing the face. I was very unhappy with the face the whole time 
and now after a week I actually think a little bit different I think it's not that bad it's still not what I want it to be in some regards and it looks like I have managed to smudge it there is not bad this this will be dark anyway um so mm -hmm. but i i don't i don't hate it anymore i i think it's actually not that bad and so it <laughs> that's good to hear <laughs> i was worried um so yeah we will be doing yeah we will see uh if we are faster if we are slower uh, how long this will take. I was uh, actually probably because I was so slow with Agent Carter. I was so fast with the Buffy Club picture on Friday. Pretty quick, I would say. Um, so uh, we'll see how fast or not fast I will be today. And we start with an ear. Why not start with an ear? Because we haven't uh, considered that yet. She has a very complicated it is strange that she has such a complicated earring in this um it's difficult to see i don't know who dressed her like this for for such a picture that could be a simple pearl earring perhaps it is something story relevant i don't know perhaps she has special agent earrings um i haven't seen the series to admit so we'll first give this a little bit the earring a little bit of a shape although I'm not sure how close we will stay to to the original it could look interesting if we I would probably do it with a gel pen where the light shines um, because that could <laughs> although the, the shape and everything is not that clearly visible uh, and and it's not not a known shape or something it is some kind of ornament uh, trying to stick to it sometimes lends it a bit more um, What's, what's the word I'm searching for? Authenticity, I can say authenticity. I don't think that's the word I was searching for, but it works good enough. It gives it a little bit authenticity, even though man, one does not really understand or recognize the shape. So we have some kind of pearl is in there, but I don't know. This is darker than in the original, but we will see how this works now with the It's not that exciting, but it's also not that important, so that's the earring. <sighs> My other friends Thanks for coming to my videos that day. <laughs> of course. Don't you worry. I'm very interested in your videos, so why shouldn't I? Um, the other ones, I have no idea. I, I don't know. Sometimes they come, sometimes they don't. So they, some of them will probably trickle in. Uh, I have been... Last week I wasn't... No, last week. Last week was I, I. I had a week where I was not that um, reliable with when I went online, or that I even went online at all. And something like that can really mess with your schedule and, and uh, trust of people that you come online. So I, I did not schedule this very early. The stream. I, I never know when, when to schedule them because it sends out a notification when I schedule it. I think that's some that's that's sub um, suboptimal. Uh, I would prefer when it would send out the notification when you go online. 
I don't know if it sends a second one, but I don't think so. So I only um, go on uh, or, or schedule the stream close to when I really go online. And that probably also is for some people a bit spontaneous. So it's me, it's not them. <laughs> I think I've started life too early for them. They are used to a little bit late. That could also be. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope that a couple more people would be coming. But if not, we are, we will rock this, won't we? Actually, most are, or the most views and the most hours come later, not during the live stream. So I'm, I'm not worried about even if nobody would come in this live stream or it would only be two, three people. Uh, I'm not worried about that. Especially since I've changed my perspective a little bit on, on streaming and on, on posting the videos and everything. Uh, I'm living a little bit more in the moment and it is great that I have the uh, thousand subs and everything. But I, I took a step back and I'm doing this also now myself again and I just try to enjoy the streaming and that I can stream and that I am allowed to stream and that people are interested in coming and the more the merrier but if they don't um, I draw this for me and for everyone that is coming uh, but I'm fine if I'm only drawing it for myself so I'm doing this because I like to do it. I had come into a little bit of a rut where I was starting to to draw and post videos because I felt I have to and that is not healthy. At least as long as I'm not getting paid for it. <laughs> So actually, I think the the eternal pretty pretty close to the original. So now is the question: How we continue thinking about the everything? Because this is also very stylized. The, everything with the hair and the, the, the darkness of, of the, the shadow of of the head. All of that. Um, bleeds into each other so it's a little bit of the question how you um, start and where you get everything together and but I think we can draw the neck also without anything else but the question is if I do that it gets very dark and I could smudge a lot of the picture if I draw down here so probably we will start with this side, or even this side of the head, and then go down with the hair. Or we start completely up here with the head. I think we start with the head up there, because why not? How I'm feeling? I am feeling good. I'm feeling good. I, I really cannot say anything else. I am... Um, so the nature of my illness is anyway that if I um, don't overdo it, I can feel pretty good. But as soon as I start um, to exhort myself mentally or physically, uh, I start to deteriorate very quickly. So as I am very instinctively drawing. Uh, it's not like I would have some kind of rule book or technical book lying here and follow techniques and measure everything. Measurement is through. We have measured everything that we want to. And I'm not calculating or whatever, so it doesn't text me that much. Uh, so it's completely fine. Uh, 
but as long as I don't overdo it, I feel like, at least now at this point in the recuperation process, I feel like a no relatively normal human, human being. And that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, if those are new, let us just put in the slideshow so they can see. Oh, I have to record my drawing. I have not started recording it. I'm also recording separately for somebody that might be new here so I can uh, have the material on my PC to also do a time lapse video that I also always do. And I don't want those overlays that I can show you guys here. I do not want them in those time lapses. So I am se recording separately. I'm living in Germany. So it is 7 p.m. here. 7.15. Originally I was streaming in my morning. Uh, because I just could not do it in the evenings. Uh, now that I'm feeling a little bit better, I could move it to the evenings. I did not want to stay in the mornings because at some point in time, I hope that I will get back to regular work also and also want to continue streaming. And I did not want to move uh, the stream when I have perhaps a viewership um, that I then completely lose a bigger viewership. <laughs> Typically British. It sometimes times it varies. It's also it's very um, dependent on what movie I've seen or whatever. Uh, so at least Germans can very well pick me out and they, they know that I'm German. Uh, uh, some, some, somebody, some, a German person, don't know, woman, man, was in my uh, stream and they directly said, or, or what, I think it was a comment on the video, and they directly said, oh, you're from Germany, um, because they heard it. I it, I like it very much that you cannot, uh, or that you would say the accent is more British, and not this hard German accent. I try to to lose that accent, not because I don't like my country or language or anything, but uh, the German accent is is very hard, and I would prefer to not have it. <laughs> So, uh, the red of the head, we will give it a complete shading for the lightest part of the head. The red, the, nothing will be white in the head. So it will get a complete gray first layer doesn't have to be too regular because there is a lot um, of shading that will take place on that. There won't be much left of the first layer. Most of it will be covered. Even your vocabulary is German. Be high stu. That is the German question of what is your name? I can speak a little bit German if you want to. I can can just switch to German for for a couple of sentences and einfach mal Deutsch sprechen ist was anderes hört sich anders an 
Und für mich persönlich ist es tatsächlich auch ein bisschen komisch, Deutsch zu sprechen äh, im Stream, weil ich es nie gemacht habe. And we can switch back to English. Ananya Aloke. That's a cool name. Truth be told. <laughs> I'm sure I cannot pronounce that correctly. Funny enough, uh, with the German uh, pronunciation, you sometimes are closer to the original than with the English pronunciation. So, if I were English, I would probably say something like Ananja Aloki. And I don't think that is correct. Deutsch ausgesprochen, Germany uh, pronounced in German, that would be Ananya Aloke. The English way or the German way? Ananya? Is that correct? Anna. Nice to meet you, Anna, with the name. Naxissus, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining. How are you? How are you today? So I will directly go in with the dark, with the piano, with the blackstone pencil, because this uh, the head uh, surface, the texture, is completely different from the face. It is very felty, if that is the correct word. And I want to give it a little bit of that texture. And uh, the piano is actually pretty good to do that because it has some kind of other texture than the regular pencil. In English pronunciation was correct, okay. A ninja? I say Anna if that's okay, or Anna. <laughs> it's midnight in your country, so you're tired, Narcissus. Then thank you very much for spending your night on my channel. I really appreciate it. I'm drawing Peggy Carter, continuing from last week. Normally I only work one stream. So this is, I, you, I don't even know if you have seen the full picture yet. Um, I don't know when you came in. This is the current state. And I'm continuing. Uh, normally I do one picture per stream but I was very slow because I was so unhappy with how she turned out that I just uh, it took a long time until I was I felt okay with stopping the stream <laughs> and uh, so we are continuing today And this actually turns out better texture-wise than I anticipated. I think this is very close to the this felt texture that the head actually has in the original. So normally I'm not using the black stone for uh, these shades of gray because um, I'm using another pencil for that and I only use the black stone for really dark, really dark areas. And when you draw dark, you press off obviously a little bit more and then this texture doesn't really come out. Um, and, but it works perfectly for what we need here right now. Yeah, so thank you, Blackstone. Ah, 
Ananya, that is German, and Ananja would be English. A math exam tomorrow, but uh, you were like, no. <laughs> so have you learned for, for the exam? Do you feel ready for that exam? I had, I, I totally get that. I often, ex especially with math, I had to, I did not really sleep well. And then it, it, it doesn't make sense to just lie in your bed and just turn around and around and rotate there. And, and then it's not a bad thing. And honestly, a drawing stream is probably a good thing uh, to calm down and perhaps manage to sleep at one, some point. So this is at least not as adrenaline pumping as uh, a gaming stream or something. So it's a good choice. <laughs> well done. Uh, I hope I'm not irritated. Why, why should you irritate me? Oh, it's good. <laughs> Shadow Boy, welcome. Hey, thank you very much for joining. How are you? Oh, you have the new video. I have not watched your video yet. I have to. I'm sorry. Thank you for dropping by. So. We are continuing our good Agent Carter. I'm not sure if you, I think you weren't there the first stream. I will show you her face in a second. Just continue this. I was working here with the Blackstone pen and I'm pretty happy with how the texture looks. We have to see if we need to even darken it even more. Uh, but we will look at that in relation to face and the rest of the head, I was would think. So that is the face. My day is yeah, it's it's nearing the end. <laughs> it was it was a pretty good day. It was a uh, it was a good day. Oh, perfect weather in the evening. It got a little bit uh, less sunny but during the day pretty cool weather so good day how was your yours german accent is correct i thought so i would expect that <laughs> so <laughs> ananya sadly i didn't upload for over a month and your video is taking too long ah okay i thought you were talking about that you were close to releasing a new video and I just now remembered that when you came in and I thought I missed it. So at least I didn't miss it. <laughs> so we will continue with the hat. I think we need to Draw this, I don't know how you would call it, flap, whatever, on the side. You can do that also with a black stone because it is extremely dark. We we'll draw a lot really dark and with the black stone on this because uh, there is really heavy contrast in the picture. And we want to translate that also into our portrait. And you see when I press really hard, of course, the texture goes away. And this is normally the way I'm using the black stone and not like this, but the texture is just perfect for it for what we need here. Ask too many silly questions. Oh, don't you worry. I like talking with you and it's not like you're drowning out other people. So all is good. 
I enjoy having you here. So we have these three stripes of different color on the head. On the head. Mandarin teacher yesterday just bashed to class and started writing Cantonese. Are you Chinese? If I may ask, Narcissus? Or are you learning in your school Mandarin? So we have to see how uh, we translate three color differences into our picture. The white is very white uh, because somebody has played with contrast on the picture, probably one of the reasons. We will give it a little bit of shading though, because although I can't even see it myself, when I go closer to the big version I have, uh, I think here we need to darken it a little bit for 3D effect. It's not obvious in the picture, but I think it it is like that. So <laughs> uh, no, but I study at an international school. Oh, okay, but very interesting. Uh, I imagine very very difficult. I would actually think then German is probably German. Math is probably then easier in your case than. Mandarin. Did I go to art college? No, I did not. I am completely self-taught. Uh, I had some lessons uh, before I started university, uh, when I was still in school. As nobody in my home could... This is wrong size I think of this band and the color stripes but it doesn't matter honestly nobody will notice so we will just keep it like that I could just draw that and not tell anybody but I try to, to give tips to people that worry that they have to be a little bit more strict or something so <laughs> you don't have to you can allow yourself if it's something like a band or something that is artificial anyway and is not something somebody will recognize as the shape of, of, of a human being or something you can do whatever you want it's your picture uh, basically not controlled by the government you guess it's called a private school probably it is then called a private school yeah cool but probably not easy is it So again with the red we have a certain coloring uh, so to contrast the white red and blue in black and white we will give the red a base color so the white obviously is white so we have real white in the white and the red will get a base color and that is this this pencil and then we will have the blue which is also uh, darker than the red so it will also get a base color which we will fill in the complete band before we then start to shade it this is a bit more methodical and you can do that with artificial stuff like like such a band I 
will be back to the chat in a second. Just have to complete this. So, uh, Manuel must be tough. Yes, I would think so too, Anna. Now, cooking class is harder because I suck at cooking. Okay, so you're more of a um, academic person then with, with the harder stuff. Cooking, I think, in contrast to Mandarin and all the other stuff, I would probably would have a much easier time. Um, I will not use this as I did on the head because this is another material and I want it to be smoother. So uh, where I need to shade the red, I will use the regular pencil because it has a finer texture. But I it went too dark directly, but it's not that bad. It doesn't really ruin anything, but yeah, it's, it, 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 I think it's fine. I'm safe talk too, but my basics not as good as yours. Probably I'm, I don't know how old you are. I'm probably older than you are. So <laughs> although I did a big break, I did a big break uh, before I returned to art. So I actually was, uh, I studied IT, so not really art related. And I also work and worked in IT. So this is a great outlet. Hey Isabel, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for dropping by. How are you today? Biology sucks, the lab smell, because the science class just dumps random things and didn't clean up. <laughs> I cannot imagine those smells though. I've got a question for you. Where did you learn to draw so well? I taught that myself. I, um, I, I can get, go a little bit in that uh, background. Uh, I always like to draw and in my family there is not really um, anybody else that does it in my closer family or even the slightly extended family that is drawing so my mother a uh, beautiful mother than she was, uh, decided that I need somebody to nurture that talent. And she had a friend that is actually an artist. And she was ready to give me a couple of lessons. So I went, I think one time, one time of the week it was, to her atelier, is it that, is that the right word in, in English? And uh, we drew and there I got pretty good basics. So we did not, we never really drew portraits or anything. So what we did really was this basic stuff like shapes and uh, still life and shading and just sitting, watching and understanding how of how the light works and so so I got pretty good basic understanding there but uh, then when I started studying I started just experimenting with portraits but at some point I stopped and I never drew uh, when I was working and I only got back into drawing then when I started this channel last year in July. And that's pretty healthy, actually. <laughs> One last question. Did you name your channel after your own pets? I did. I actually, it was an alliteration with my first channel. I started a gaming channel called Gaming Greyhound. You can still find it if you're interested. It's not deleted, but I had to concentrate with my health was it what it is I had to concentrate on one thing 
and art was just better for me uh, health wise so I only am working on the art channel at this point in time uh, but the gaming channel was named Gaming Greyhound, so it was a cool alliteration. And when I went with 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 drawing, I was just thinking, why not uh, call it? Why not stay with the with the Greyhound moniker? Well, because I also I really like the logo that I made. <laughs> I did that for the gaming channel actually, and I was just thinking, okay, I will do the drawing and just use another color. So gray instead of black, which I used for the gaming, but I will probably change to black at some point now for the for the drawing channel. And yeah, that's that's where the name comes from, probably. Um. My mother, my mother uh, died 11 years ago, I think, something like that. I do not really calculate that. I, I don't, uh, I'm really bad with, with times and dates and also birthdays, so. Sorry for not knowing completely correct but I think it was something something like 12 years hey Mohit welcome how are you Don't worry, Moid. It's a long time ago. It happens. Stuff like that, unfortunately, just happens. My dad actually died long before that, so uh, I'm an orphan, <laughs> but a big one, so. It kind of sucks, but that's how it is. Adulthood becomes pretty scary when you notice that there's not really anybody that you can fall back for questions to. You only notice how much you rely on your parents when they are they are not there anymore so if you all still have your parents still be kind to them they can be really dick parents but mine were, were fantastic My, mine were really fantastic model parents As I said, it's not, it's, it's what it is. There is not really any kind of method to the insanity of this life. So you have to deal with what, what, what you're handed. And don't be sorry, Artab, it is completely okay. I don't have any issues talking about that. And as I said, if your parents are not very evil persons, be kind to them, even if they annoy you from time to time.
So we have, and I will, I will actually take this little stump that I have where I do not need a lot of control for coloring this in to, to get this also used. I cannot use this really for detail work anymore because it's a little bit small, but I can use it for stuff like this. So we will really go dark here and completely blacken this area and stay a little bit away from from the face parts because we need a kind of controlled transition. but it's really it's not 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 a big thing and I like to talk about them art up so uh, Anna it, it's really not not a bad you don't have to feel bad at all they were amazing people I like to talk about them and I like to remember them so we need a good and clean transition here and this is actually so dark again, but here we again have a little bit of transition. Well, this part is pretty fun to get correct. This is also very important for the picture. Did they marry you off? Is it still... Is it still like that? The arranged marriage stuff? I thought it was much less like that these days. Thank you very much, Narcissus. Thank you, Isabel. Don't worry, TL. As I said, and thank you very much, but it is, it was years ago, it was, it was, a, I won't get into the details, but it was, it was not a good, not nice thing how it happened. So, it was a pretty crazy story over, over more than half a year. In the end, it was a doctor's error. So not a nice story, but it's nothing that you have to be uh, feel bad for for reminding me of. So thank you very much, TL. Thank you very much. Yeah, I. this is the second stream that I'm drawing on this. Um, I was really not happy with it in the first stream, but in the end the face turned. I managed to salvage it and now I am, I'm not 100% mega happy with it, but I don't hate it. <laughs> so I thought to continue it this stream normally I, draw one uh, portrait per stream but I did not come very far with this one because uh, I tried to fix the face the whole time for two hours so <laughs> uh, if I find someone <laughs> uh, 
You are so kind, Arthur, Anna. And I hope you find somebody on your own or you hit the jackpot and whoever they select is an amazing person. You deserve it. Got me engaged to one of her friend's son. I also hate him because he called me stupid because I eat bread with the crust off. <laughs> oh, directly some tensions I get there. Like who likes the crust? Depends on the bread. Uh, there are breads. I, I do not know which kind of bread you're talking about. If you're talking uh, white bread in the US, I completely agree. If you talk a gray bread in here in Germany, the crust is the best thing. And if you haven't eaten a bread like that, uh, you might find that you agree when you do. Although it is actually, it can, it, it is very hard sometimes and it can actually, uh, I have baked some breads myself and they can really um, hurt your mouth. Not really, not like bloody, but they can just pinch in there. Uh, they are very hard. So if you haven't eaten a hard bread crust, you might have missed something. But I agree, the 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 the, the um, soft bread, the crust, not not the best thing. Yeah, I don't. Um, I'm always a little bit like that, TL. When I talk about my pictures, I feel very, I seldomly say I love something um, that I create. I always find stuff that I don't like. I really liked, uh, I would almost go to say I loved uh, lying it here around. I drew it last Friday. Wait second oh I had done I don't have it up here um, but I drew it's down in the scanner <laughs> uh, I drew you can check the video out if you want to uh, the vampire Buffy Buffy as a vampire and I really like that I also like my Buffy portrait that I did it is very straight and very um, formal somehow but I still like it very much I also like this one here. I, I really, this was so much fun to do um, two weeks ago, I think. Um, but often it's more like I'm on the fence and I don't hate it. And this is one of those at this point in time. Um, we see, perhaps we get it to a point where I say I really like this one. Uh, it could still happen. Um, but. Normally I am a bit more critical, but I think a lot of, of artists are. Even in India, some girls are married off at 12 or 15 years of age. That is really bad. Yeah, that, that I would not approve. So I, I do not want, I also do not, I, I'm, I'm not a fan of, of uh, arranged marriage in general. I don't really feel good about that. Uh, but I would not slam it if it is your culture and if you are okay with that and if that is just how you expect it. So, well, who am I to judge? Um, but underage marriage like that, I really do not uh, feel like I have to tolerate something like that. So that is really bad, yes. Uh, your parents are well educated. They themselves got married above 25, so they promise they will not force me either. That's amazing. So then you are really lucky. Because I understand the pressure also your parents probably have in a society where that is normal and where they don't do it like that to their children. That is also pressure that they stand up. So heads off to your parents and you're lucky with them.
I didn't reply. I'm sorry. Yeah, I am very bad with replying on comments at the moment. Uh, I'm extremely behind and that unfortunately has the effect that I don't uh, even notice new comments and I should comment but if I start now comment you know it's it's like like having a lot of work and being afraid of that big mountain of work because once you start you don't know if you will ever stop and it is definitely with the comments it would be hours upon hours upon hours to to answer to comments that I haven't yet I I have to because I normally I, I really want to and I'm so happy when people comment real comments not those um, stay connected comments <laughs> so I should honor that with my time so I'm very sorry I, I will go back to to the comments and try to to comment the good comments not not the the other ones Yeah, the pressure is in rural areas. I live in the city. I understand it's it's in rural areas. I think it's really can be even more difficult. Do you have brothers and sisters? That is pretty normal big families, right? So I would expect it that you have. But that expectation could be subverted. Uh, Artidude, hey and welcome. Do you watch Falcon and Winter Soldier? I have seen the first two episodes actually. I have not seen the rest. I have to say I, I want to. Um, but there is also so much to watch and uh, it did not it doesn't have the same effect on me as WandaVision had <laughs> where I just was sitting in front of the TV waiting for the next episode to drop um, it did not amaze me in the same way yet although I have to say it has very cool aspects and I really enjoy the dynamic between the Falcon and the Winter Soldier um, with their friendship and love-hate relationship uh, and being connected via Steve and somehow also uh, respecting each other but also somehow a little bit hating each other. Uh, it's very cool, interesting and that is actually the most reason why I am interested in the series. Uh, more than what I have seen yet story-wise in the two first episodes. Mm. Your parents are wonderful. That I, I love to hear that. Say hi to me to your great and amazing parents. Times are changing actually, but in rural India, girls' condition is terrible. I do believe that and I hate that it is that way, but... When I'm a bigger YouTuber, then perhaps I can do something more for the world. There are so many things that I would like to help, but <sighs> money, right? Uh... Parents' marriage was arranged, but my grandparents were love. You are watching, Artitude. You are watching. Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Don't spoil, no spoilers, please. <laughs> I have a big sister. Okay, Wonder Vision like was just like damn. Yes, it was. I love Wonder Vision. <laughs> Mint jelly. Uh, yes, I have to also say I love Wonder Vision. We will actually draw the black of the hair first, the really dark areas, and then fill in the rest because it is actually a little bit difficult do it otherwise so let's just try to do it this way and it might be also faster um. grandma meow
Your grandparents was love, even that early on. That is pretty cool. Did they have to fight for that, or was that, or had they also pretty um, open parents for that? One brother, twelve to fourteen cousins. We are close, but we don't live in the same house. That would be full, wouldn't it? Grandparents' marriage is a mess. My grandpa is too manipulative and mean to my grandpa. Oh, that's that's terrible to hear. Yeah, we had neighbors um, that were very. Where she was also quite. She 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 had the pants on in that relationship. Let's say it with an archaic picture like that. So she he was just doing her bidding. And that's not the coolest thing to do to somebody you love. I mean, if he wants it like that, it's also okay. But often you are just... Kinda... Um locked into such a relationship it is difficult to get even especially after a long time and especially after you had children and stuff it's difficult to get out of a relationship thank you very much for not spoiling rt <laughs> later episodes are hilarious and epic yeah i i will i will continue watching so we can discuss in the next stream perhaps um, I don't know if you have seen that I have drawn the Falcon. I actually also had a stream where I was drawing the Winter Soldier, but that was one that I really hated and I did not even want to try and fix outside of the stream. So that did not become a video. Just the live stream. Perhaps I will restart. I don't know where I went wrong with that one, but I really hated it. So I still have to draw the Winter Soldier. Sure, my grandfather lost his parents when he was 15. Oh, that is, that is rough. grandmother's father was schizophrenic so she was independent as well as my grandfather okay so it was kind of perfect that they found each other So here with the hair, normally you draw hair completely different and it's also me, although I hate drawing hair. Um, but uh, here you have not that much hair that you can see as hair. There is a lot of hair, but it is more or less just a black uh, shape in this picture because it is so stylized. Uh, so I now fell back to just draw the really dark black parts of the hair because there is no structure in there and now I try to put the hair where you can actually see strands I, I try to put the texture of hair in there and we see if I am successful with that See, I am completely 
destroying this side of the image by putting the paper on it. I have to be more careful. I will not be able to get this completely cleaned up anymore, I fear. So we'll have to live with a little bit of dirt here. But we'll just say that's a creative expression. So there's actually also no, no reason why I should put the paper on there. So I would just try and stay away from that. So I have missed probably something. Um, grandma wouldn't cook for my grandpa. Usually the maid do it, I guess. My grandpa's house is... Well, what, if they had a maid, she doesn't have to, <laughs> does she? <laughs> Even my grandfather didn't like cooking, but grandfather had her in the kitchen. That is nice. It's off YouTube recently, so I didn't saw a recent videos and streams. Don't you worry. I was just saying uh, that I have, if you're interested, there is a falcon already. And I, I really like that picture, so it, it's worth a watch. He fell for her when he was 18, she was 14. He taught her English. He taught me too. 14 is early, but they only met at her house when he went to in give English tutors. Okay, so they did not marry when she was 14. <laughs> Later he slipped love letters in her homework copy books. <laughs> That's kind of sweet, but I still hope she wasn't 14 anymore. Um, looking great. Thank you very much, Bob. Welcome. Hey, thank you very much for joining. Thank you so much for dropping by. You were asking, uh, let me know if, if you still hear me. Um, you were asking a question uh, about, uh, I, I saw it, I did not answer yet, I am terrible with comments at the moment. You were asking a question about um, the audio in my videos. Uh, so I would answer it to you if you are here and can hear me. Um, I love the way you put the highlights in there. Thank you very much. Uh, but they got married when grandma was 26. That is good. <laughs> and they, they also had a lot of uh, experience then with each other and they were pretty sure, right? That was a long relationship before they married. So that's very responsible of them. They are very good role models. No, I think the the, uh, the way we are doing that with the hair, it works reasonably well. I think it's not bad. Um, yeah, the voice of audio levels, exactly. There is a way, I actually also Googled that and just followed the tutorial for that, but there is a way to do that automatically in DaVinci Resolve. I'm using DaVinci Resolve, I'm not sure what software you are using uh, I probably should because I think you showed it in your videos but I don't know right now um, I did not really pay attention too much to which software it was exactly I'm sorry um, but uh, they, it does it automatically you just define uh, a channel that is sending and you define a channel that is listening or more channels that are listening to the sending one and when the sending one comes up the other one is lowered to a certain degree. A couple of, you can define how many milliseconds before uh, the audio from the other comes up and how many after and stuff like that. So it is pretty easy. I just once configured it and now it always works. I just have to adjust the background music, um, the, 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 the general level of uh, loudness of the background music for every song because it can differ a little bit where it should be but this lowering and uh, heightening back up is completely automatic so I, I love that functionality I've never had to think about that again uh, automatic yes completely it's completely automatic it's 
Fantastic. Sorry about asking. Nobody falls in love in your country at 14, 15. Um, they are at least not allowed to. <laughs> but I, I'm completely fine uh, if it is in the way with uh, as it is with your granddad and grand uh, mom. Uh, if if there is such a big age gap, I actually think it is not a bad thing um, if you act like that and just wait with certain aspects of a relationship until that point in time uh, where you can be sure which is for every person at another different age where you can be sure that everything is completely consensual and uh, healthy but I think uh, we don't have to discuss it too deep <laughs> Uh, Adobe Prem Premiere. Um, there probably is also functionality like that. It is called. There is a name for that process. Let me think. If if I if I. Uh, ducking audio ducking. I think. Uh, try to Google Adobe Premiere audio ducking. I would expect that Adobe Premiere. I think it's audio ducking. I think it is. It sounds strange. It's a strange name. That's why I kind of remember it. I, th I think it was audio ducking. Uh, try to Google that if there, there, there should be something. I, I would expect that Adobe Premiere can also do something like that pretty automatically. Uh, and the smaller part, like in transition part, they can marry like really young. I didn't really know because I live in the modern part. Uh, It's just also a completely different cultural thing. You know how cultures are and how cultures um, affect you and your thinking and your expectations. So it's just... Relationships with somebody pretty comparatively old and somebody really young is something that here in Germany is definitely frowned upon. Uh, there are ways to handle it responsibly, but you have also to be careful because of laws <laughs> and uh, you can get in jail for certain things, even if both persons agree to it. So there's also that. So it's it's just it's just different. <laughs> Let's not go into it too deep. Uh, grandfather was a very loving person. Grandma has always been ill since she died at 88. Okay. Uh, oh, I thought your grandpa didn't love your grandma. No, that was that were other. I I think that was, that was another pair. I would have expected it to be called that. I'm away to Google. I think it does appear to be audio ducking. Yes, it is a strange name. Um, I was actually I was thinking about when I started and I, I wanted something like that because I was thinking I, I don't want to do that by hand. Every time I'm saying something lower the audio level, there has to be something automatical. I was thinking and then I researched that uh, and actually had it implemented before I did my first video or published my first video. I did it directly for my very first video because I just could not imagine doing that by hand. <laughs> so let's do the... Oh, we will first do this little piece here. And then we will go for the neck. <laughs> Don't worry, <laughs> Anna. It is just a really difficult topic. 
uh, people think differently about that. And while I love discussion, I also do not want to uh, offend somebody who has perhaps very strict feelings about that. So. Thank you very much, uh, Isabel. Thank you. In India, love is considered wrong. So even those who find love don't usually have a relationship until sanctioned by law. It is so strange, <laughs> but it's it's different. It is. It's for me, it is strange. It is not strange. I, I said that also not very respectfully. It just feels so strange when you are, have been grown up in a completely different culture. And I honestly don't think that we have the right definition of love or I don't think there is a right definition of love. There is a social definition of love um, also, this love we know the with with the the one person to find the one person to fall in love with, and this um, relationship with that perfect person that everybody wants to find and everybody can find. I think uh, actually that is a construct that came from books and movies, and everybody goes for that and it's not necessarily the only construct there is to live I think love is a very strong feeling and if you go against that feeling uh, it doesn't work very long or at least it's completely unhealthy but that doesn't mean that this construct of the monotonous relationship is the only true and perfect one and natural one because natural it also isn't it is a social construct just saw your ultron drawing on insta dude that's epic thank you very much check out the video <laughs> uh love that particular one i it is it, it turned out really good um i'm not too big of a fan of that smudging style but it worked really well with the metal uh, and I could actually finish that in I think two seatings uh, so four to five hours so pretty quickly because of that smudging and and it had a really nice effect so I was really happy with that one too thank you very much for finding it and liking it there is a video too if you enjoy my ramblings uh, I actually had also a, an interview. I don't know if, if you guys know that. There are a couple of videos. I don't do that at the moment because of time constraints. But I have a couple of videos where I have uh, in fake interviews where I took the scenes from the movie and had a conversation with the characters. I did that with Ultron. So if you haven't seen one of those, check that out. I'm not very good, <laughs> but perhaps you get a laugh out of it. It's, it's experimental. Uh, yeah, different culture and different upbringing is difficult to get your head around cultural diversity and things that seem out of place from what we have been talking. Exactly, and you have to be careful. Just like I said, it is strange. It's not strange. It is strange for somebody of my culture to hear something like that. Um, doesn't make it strange, but you can hurt people if you just just with being not very careful with, with what you said like I was so I'm very sorry that I worded it so dumb the first time but uh, I didn't mean any offense oh bye I, I did, did miss that I'm sorry Isabel I hope you still hear my bye thank you very much like the drawing at the end I'm going to come back to see do that thank you very much for joining 
speaking ace in my country it's called a curse usually i do a strange rituals even though it's normal okay i'm aromantic and everyone called me heartless <laughs> no that's also as i said um also th that complete it's it's like gender construct i i know that there are very strong feelings uh, around that also and that is a pretty a current topic and not everyone agrees with that but gender is also a social construct uh, and yeah most of the things are social constructs and calling something wrong you, you have to be very careful with calling something wrong there are obviously wrong things in the world, but <laughs> less than one might think so. And Bob, let me know if you found and could implement audio ducking for yourself would be a cool thing because I, as I said I do not worry about that at all anymore for a very long time if you manage to get that in you will probably be much more prone to having dialogue in your videos uh, oh Adi dude I missed that you were going thank you very much and goodbye thank you for dropping by Bob, did I mention about using the YouTube method of leading people to other videos by continuing to draw and introducing your other videos or playlists? Uh, I am actually trying to do that a little bit more. I did not do that at all. Here I have the slideshow, which I just activated <laughs> um, to show people what I am also doing and so that, that they might become interested in other videos, but also to just show new people that are new in the stream, uh, what I am capable of when I haven't really started drawing or am not really far in with the drawing. Um, I'm starting to do that uh, because it's a dumb thing not to do, <laughs> honestly. And uh, I did in, in the Dave Reardon picture video, I did that. Uh, and I have to do it more, you're completely right i am always putting in the info cards already for for a long time but that is not enough i have to talk about the new the older videos and yeah then completely right uh what thought it maybe has with channel stuff yeah N mine has a couple more subs but my views are not very high so uh, I have to get them higher. I don't know how, but I changed my perspective a little bit and I'm not too worried about that. I, I just let it grow. I do what I love. I do it the way I like it and I hope other people like it too. And I hope that that grows a little bit more natural. I had a fast growth in subs, but it did not really end up in regular viewer so I'm also nobody to give tips uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba I am married Anna so I am very I am happily married found an audio ducking tutorial and we'll watch it later yeah perfect Yes, arranged marriage can be right or wrong. Sometimes the husbands are very bossy and rude and such. But my parents had arranged marriage and care for each other a lot. That is good. So yeah, each case an individual. That's anyway. That's that's definitely true. We are already. Time flies if you're having fun and good conversations. We are already one and a half hours almost in. I was just thinking how far we can push this. Uh, but uh, we will have a little bit more time to to get this a bit more polished.
It has to do with audience retention and at the end of a video so it doesn't just fall off a cliff trying to experiment with the ending videos. Um, yeah, when the people are watching until the end, uh, yes. I'm trying to, but, but that is a good point, uh, perhaps also in the end, just doing something like, uh, by the way, if you enjoyed this, this could be also a video that might be something for you. Um, might be something I try. It's nice to be able to discuss stuff like that <laughs> with fellow content creators. So I think the hair is pretty okay. Um, there is still a lot of white looking through with this black. I might be try to be a bit more tidy with this. Actually it could work out if I use this one so I don't have to now this top makes it a bit meh, 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 meh. probably you know what I could use perhaps the smudging to get it yeah look at that this is good use of smudging yeah Perfect. This makes me happy right now. Look at how extremely f nice dark we get that this way. That is really cool. Uh, you're doing great sketching and it's clear that your audience is finding you. I have very, I'm, I'm very happy with the people that find me. So I'm not doing everything wrong it seems uh, because the people that find me as you can see with yourself and and uh, Anna here and and Isabel and a lot of other people are fantastic people where it is really fun to chat with and I have a lot of people that are coming back to the live stream so I'm very thankful for those uh, So I, uh, yeah, as I said, I'm very thankful for that. So, so I don't worry about people that are not there yet and enjoy time with the people that are. So I will do that actually everywhere here also with the black in the mouth. I just have to be careful. So I will just scoot over here so I don't smudge anything because this black is really dangerous. So I have to keep this, this in mind so that I can use this method to get the black really black because that works just beautiful. Um, all right, 20 years and have five monsters. <laughs> Uh, five that that is a lot and you still manage to do videos you are a monster you are awesome and I said thing to someone else on the live who said she was unmarried not you gray <laughs> uh, yeah I might try an audio even on videos that are mainly just trailer type videos worth an experiment on my part so we'll give it a go yeah just experiment that is something I'm still doing always something different I have found a pretty strict way of doing it by now. Uh, I'm doing things very methodical by this time. Uh, I should probably be more experimental also still.
So, me likey. Should also do it here. I'm not 100% sure here, but it is black, pitch black in the picture. Just have to be careful with not overdoing it in the head so we do not lose the structure, the texture we have there. Hey Lainey, welcome. So great that you're dropping by. How are you? Thank you very much for joining the stream. And thank you very much for liking the picture. This black now, it, it that, that did a lot. Let me just, I need to get all that dust off the picture before I smudge it everywhere. You see the picture has already suffered in certain areas. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> good night, Anna. Good night. Thank you so much for for dropping by and keeping me company. And I really enjoy our talk. So uh, I hope you will be back in the upcoming streams. And thank you very much. And good night. Sweet dreams. I'm okay, Lainey. I'm pretty... I can almost say good. <laughs> I had a lot of fun this stream already. Uh, a lot of great people, great talks. And picture turns out better than I feared. This is the second stream that I'm working on it. Actually, normally I only do one per, you know that, uh, but I did not come very far because I hated the first stream, the picture, and I used the time completely on the face, so nothing else was done. So I still had to, a lot to do, so I just started with this, again, this stream, and it turns out pretty nicely. Uh, it's not my best, definitely not, but it's also not my worst. So I'm now, right now I have to decide how much of the surrounding things I should do. In the original she has a, um, a gun, a pistol. I'm thinking about if I should draw that. It would be cool, but I honestly just cannot manage that until the video release tomorrow. So either I skip that or I skip the video release and I will probably skip drawing the gun. Might be back if you are still going, need to go deal with a few things. We keep it running thank you very much i have an hour uh, half an hour left uh, on the clock for the stream so i will see if i still use that um, i'm not done yet so i might still be around she looks so good though thank you very much she looks better she is closer to i, I got a little bit happier last stream i said also in the end and she looked very much like this already there. Uh, I said I do not see any resemblance. But Liana said that she thinks she looks very much like Agent Carter already. That she could, can recognize her. And that actually made me happy and a bit more accepting of the picture. So how are you guys still busy? How is how is Lee? Ah, 
<sighs> so I think I will just give this a very dark outline. You know, here to show that there is something. And I will not color that completely in. And perhaps the same there to have a kind of balance. Mr. Squeaky is here, is in the house. And here we will just do something like So, this might be the complete picture. Probably I should have lifted it up a little bit, works better like that. It loses without the gun, I have to say, but I don't think I managed to draw the gun. Perhaps, even when I do the video, perhaps I would do an extension of this one, where I add the gun. Let me just get the dust again somewhere else. Not so great that I just blow it into the world, but better than on the picture. Uh, very busy, but it's awesome. I believe that. I'm so happy still for you. TL, I like how much drama and action comes across in the portrait. Mr. Squeaky. Mr. Squeaky is this pencil. It, if you have heard it, um, it starts to squeak, so some people on the stream have given it the name Mr. Squeaky. Uh, this black one has uh, makes can make quite some noise, just as the white one can be very scratchy. So this is Mrs. Scratchy. So um, let's get on with a little bit of sprucing up. So try to to improve as best as we can. So this might be a new go-to thing, what I'm doing here. Now that I have realized that I can get the areas really black when I use this much stick on the black, because the black itself, the, this is the texture that the black uh, piano, the, the black stone pencil creates when you just shade it with it. Now it's perfect for this felt, but in the black you have still a lot of white coming through. Uh, and with the smudging it just gets really perfectly black and that's amazing that makes it look so much better and less uh, random so I enjoy that very much but let's continue um, <laughs> I am actually also uh, now uh, how do you say I don't find the English word versuch I'm thinking about trying this also in other areas to get it m more 
uniform but that is what smudging is in the end what I normally don't do and when I start now I have to do the complete picture like that and I don't want to risk um, ruining what I have now because also when I smudge it gets a little bit darker than it was before normally and that can throw off the complete balance in the picture so this will definitely not uh, I would not try this on this one. I might try it on a future one to do more smudging But Not on this one just the black parts <laughs> Yeah, but only those two have names yet I Might at some point when I have merchandise there might be a mr. Squeaky t-shirt But we are a little ways off of merchandise. So. A couple of things we still have to Prove on. But other than that, we are pretty, pretty much done. shading on the neck made such a difference yeah it it uh, was important and I will probably still go darker this is something where I'm still considering uh, when this comes is darker it gets a lot more three-dimensionality you know just also like with this part here I have to darken it in the same way but the darker it is here, the more it, the face comes out of, uh, of, of the paper. And it is in the picture almost as black as the other parts, but I don't want to overdo it. Because I don't just want it to become one big black smudge. So I also won't smudge this area because it would also lose the texture that the other skin has and it has to fit in with the other skin and stuff. So I have to be a bit careful, but it is good to get it a little bit darker and I probably should also still darken here the cheek parts a bit more. Very carefully. Very little pressure. Have more control with this pencil. It's just not as punchy.
I'm sorry. Yeah, but I think... I think that's it. <coughs> I also do not want to have a dry throat. Don't worry, it's not, not illness or anything. I have to, to drink something. I think that's it. It's amazing how such tiny shading changes. It is, isn't it? Uh, so it is really interesting. And, and when you watch my time lapses, uh, it really is it comes down to the last in, in the time lapse, then seconds when you see that a couple of touch ups are done, which can make all the difference in the world. Um, it's pretty wild. <coughs> but in the same way, it can ruin your picture if you're not careful. Very quickly. <coughs> okay, but that's it. I think we will call it a day. We will say this is it because I might ruin it otherwise. I am pretty happy now with it as it is. Uh, I hope you are too. Uh, these were now two streams for Agent Carter and I am finally pretty okay or almost happy with the result. Uh, we have not drawn this side the gun. I might do it in the future, probably not in this next stream I will publish a time lapse for this as I am pretty happy with it as it is if I do an additional live stream to add the gun there might be a small time lapse update <laughs> for this um, but all in all this is our result for today. Thank you very much, Laney, and you too. Thank you, TL2. Um, I stream every Wednesday, same time, so for two hours. So whatever time it is now for you, one hour and 50, 45 minutes back, and that is when I normally start streaming. I stream also on Friday, same time. Uh, there it is all Buffy Centrics. If you're a Buffy fan or not, uh, might be it still interesting for you. So I would be happy if you drop by. Uh, yeah, and there will all, always for the live streams also timeless videos that I release uh, where you can see the picture come together a little bit faster than in the live in five to seven minutes normally. So check them out. There are a lot already on my channel. And they are really nice ones, like Aldron and Harley Quinn. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your time with me. I had fun with all you guys. Lainey, TL, thank you very much. Bob was here, thank you very much. And for the most part, Art Hub, also amazing person and good, nice, uh, good, amazing channel. Uh, art channel. Lainey here, if you look for Yorkshire Puts Gaming, amazing gaming channel. So check that out. We Bob, amazing channel. A lot of amazing artists that come in my channel. I'm blessed with a lot of talented viewers. So thank you very much. I hope I see you next time and goodbye.